Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to, uh, this is stupid camera, oh my gosh, there we go. So today I wanted to do a review of a foundation. Everyone has been talking about this brand. I've been seeing tons of tutorials and lots of videos, all sorts of stuff, social media all over with this brand right here. This is the Flower Beauty. This brand is by Drew Barrymore, so that's pretty cool. And that's now officially in Ulta, which is where I purchased mine. I got the foundation, the concealer, and the powder, which is, this is a very interesting package um, to try out today. So I do have moisturizer on my skin. My skin looks a little wet right now. I just put it on, so let me rub it in just a little bit more. But yeah, that's all I have on my skin. I don't usually wear primer, so I don't feel like I should put a primer on before I try out this foundation. I am gonna do a wear test too. I've got lots of errands to run today, so I'm gonna be running around in the heat of South Carolina. It's currently like 80 degrees out today. It's a little bit cooler because it just rained, so that's good, um, but it's definitely humid still, so we'll put it to the test. But anyways, so let's go ahead and try the foundation. So I got mine in the shade, oh, where's the shade? Um, maybe it's, I think it's classic tan. I think that's what it is on the bottom there, classic tan. So this is a luminous makeup nude skin feel, all day wear, and it has SPF 18. I actually like when foundations have sunscreen in them. Living in South Carolina, it's sunny all the time too, and it's summer, so I think sun protection is always good to have in your foundation because a lot of people forget to put it under their foundation or um, refresh throughout the day. So I think having sunscreen in your foundation is actually a good thing. Some people don't like it, but I actually prefer it, so. Um, yeah, so I think mine's in this shade classic tan. I also love how this has a pump. I think that's really nice. A lot of drugstore foundations don't have pumps. They're either just like one of those pour bottles or they're squeezy tubes. So I think that this has a pump. That's really nice. It reminds me of a higher end foundation. And I want to say that this foundation was, um, hold on, let me look it up for you. Okay, so this foundation is $13.99 and it comes in 12 different colors. So also if you know about Ulta, they always have a 350 off 15 coupon. So if you purchase something else for like a dollar, you can get 350 off. So you can get a couple bucks off this foundation too. So maybe you wanna try the concealer and the foundation together, you can save yourself a couple bucks. So 12 colors, not a huge color range. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with like Probably two pumps. Well, if I can get it going. Oh, there it goes. So I'm going to start with two pumps because we can always add more. And I'm going to start by taking this on my skin. I'm really excited to see like how this wears. It feels a little bit thicker, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. So... I'm going to take my Morphe M439 brush and just take that and start buffing it into the skin. I'm going to take another pump because I didn't have enough to do my forehead. So I'm going to take one more pump. This doesn't have a smell at all really, so if you like fragrance free, um, this is good. Okay, so here is the foundation. It's definitely illuminating, so if you have dry skin, you're probably really gonna like this. You can see my face does have kind of like a glossy look to it. So if you're oily, you probably won't like this, or you're gonna have to use a mattifying primer and then um, use some powder, so. And it's definitely, I would say, more of a medium coverage. I can still see some redness here on my chin and my nose. Um, I also had a pimple. I can definitely still see that right there, too. So I would say it's more of a medium coverage, definitely not full coverage. But overall, I really do like the 
the look of this. I don't mind illuminating foundations because um, my skin is a little bit drier, but I think it looks really nice on the, the skin so far. So let's go ahead and test the concealer. Okay, so I picked up my concealer in the shade... <sighs> Oh, maybe light. L3-4 light. So this is what the concealer looks like. Pretty standard packaging. I love this little rose gold detail though. I think that's super cute on her packaging. I really like that. This is supposed to be full coverage. So we'll see. We'll see Drew Barrymore. Okay, this is what the applicator looks like. So it has a little bit of an angle, so it's not your typical doe foot. It's like almost an elongated lip gloss applicator. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Let me get a mirror going here. That is bright. I maybe could have gone a little bit darker with the concealer, but you know. I don't know if I'm I'm not too crazy about this applicator actually. Because of the angle, it's kind of hard to use the other side of the concealer. Like I feel like I'm actually pulling it away when I'm applying it, so. This doesn't really have a smell either, so that's good. But I'm really not the biggest fan of this applicator. I feel like I can only use one side of it, so I'm almost wasting product because the other side really, yeah, it just like pulls the product off, so I'm not a big fan of that, the applicator. But I mean, the coverage looks pretty good, so. All right, so then I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge and blend this out. Okay, so that is all blended in. I don't know how I really feel about this. Like, first impressions, I feel like it has definitely sunk into my pores. Like, it's emphasizing my pores, like, right in here. It's also, the, the concealer, like, it kind of picked up on my nose as well. And it just looks like, if I have any dryness, like... Like, can you see that on my nose? It looks very red right there. And I just feel like it's showing a lot of texture that I have right here and on my chin especially. So, and even on my forehead, like it's already settling into fine lines. So, um, I don't know. All right, but we're gonna go ahead and use the powder. This packaging is like really weird to me, like like it's like a circle but it's cut off I don't know it's, it's interesting um, I'm really not sure how to open this either um, help oh wait okay I'm getting it okay okay so <laughs> Literally, I can stick my finger in all the way, and that's, like, where it starts. So, like, literally right there. So, from here down, that's how much powder you get. What? Like, what's the need for all that packaging? And this was also $13.99, too, so the same price of the foundation. Right off the bat, it looks like it has some sparkle to it. Yeah, it definitely has some, like, glitters. So I guess I'll dump this in the lid. And just go ahead and set my face with it. It has kind of like a peachy 
tint to it. Yeah, you can see that. So I kind of like that because it's a little bit brightening. This is the um, Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder too, by the way. This is not a mattifying powder. I wanted the satin one because, again, my skin is pretty dry right now, so I wanted some illumination. Okay, so I actually don't really mind that powder. I think that went on really... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. But I think that powder went on really nice, actually. I think that kind of blurred um, the skin a little bit. But my skin, I brought it down here on my neck. It feels very smooth, but it feels almost like greasy a little bit. So I'm not, I don't know, the foundation is a little iffy for me right now. But we're going to see how it wears um, throughout the day. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, and I'll be right back. All right, so full face is on and we're ready to go. We're going to go test this out. It is 87 degrees here in Charleston today. So we're going to go test that in this wonderful, beautiful South Carolina heat. And we'll be back later. It's currently like 4 o'clock right now. So I wish I could have this on longer. But I usually stay pretty up up pretty late so we'll see how long I'm able to keep this on and really give this a wear test but I think in the South Carolina heat that's gonna be the true test so this is what it looks like right now ah. lighting probs stay this is what it looks like right now so I really do think that powder helped a lot but um, the foundation when I was applying like my bronzer and stuff, it was a little bit harder to blend. The foundation's a little bit thick. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which is interesting, but it does feel a little bit thick. So anyways, we'll be back in a few hours and I'll let you know how it looks and how it turns out. So see in a few. Okay, so it's been like eight hours or so. It's about like 10 o'clock right now. I haven't applied anything else to my face. Um, ignore this little lipstick right here. This happens when I eat. I have eaten. I have run my errands. I have drank in some water. I did reapply some lip gloss, but nothing else to my face. This is it. So I actually really like this foundation. I think it actually looks better or looked better as the day went on. It looks more like my skin. I am a little bit oily right here and here, but that's completely normal. I think it looks much better than when it was first applied. So and it was 85 degrees out today, so I think it held up pretty well. So, yeah, I actually really like this foundation. Did not like the powder, though, or the concealer. The concealer, I didn't like the applicator and the powder. That was just weird packaging. And I think it's actually very similar to the Becca um, Brightening Powder, which that's like 34 So if you want to save some money, then that is, um, that one was like, what was it, $13.99, I'm pretty sure for that powder so very similar um effects so you can definitely save some money there but I already really like the Becca one I'm like hooked on that one but maybe I'll repurchase the flower one but I wasn't like crazy over impressed with anything but I do really like this foundation now so yeah thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time bye